Myself, I already worked for the management company and uh, they dropped the band I was working for. This was in 84. And they said, we've just signed this new band, metal band from San Francisco. Would you like to do sound for those? And I went, what's heavy metal? And they said, you'll find out if you do it. And I went, well, I guess I'll do it then. So uh, November 1984 in Europe. And the band said, I work for a PA company called TechServe. And uh, the band said to me, you know, we like you. Would you like to be our engineer? I went, what does that mean? It means that you're our permanent guy and you come with us. And I went, well, all right then. What, what happens now? We started America in January 05, uh, 85. And here we are today in sunny Portland. It'll be the 25th year in November. 87 for me. Um, Mick had just been out with an actual sound company I used to own in England. We had done the tour uh, previous to where, uh, before on Mass Republic before Cliff died. And then they were going back out to do some makeup dates in Europe and Mick says, well, if the PA's coming out, Paul's got to come with it. That's right. So I ended up going out with a PA. Um, and Paul, and, and, and i got to be honest, Paul pretty much wired the whole thing up of himself. Up himself. <laughs> he just did it. <laughs> and their so monitor it's kind of engineer, cool. Metallica's monitor engineer, was also mixed in front of there some Metal Church. He decided that he thought Metal Church was going to be a bigger band. So he went off to do them and they asked me to do monitors for the last three dates and I did it and I've been doing it ever since. And here we are. And actually, me and Mick were in the same apprentice shop when we were 16 years together and worked at British Steel and we didn't even know it. Yeah. Apprentice, yeah, apprentices. <laughs>